Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss some important issues regarding the usage of Canva and Canva images. So let's get started. When you go to canva.com, you can actually sign up as a free member or as a Canva Pro member. When you sign up as a free uh, Canva member, you will still be able to sign up for a trial Canva Pro account for 30 days or so. And uh, if you want to do that, I have a link in the description box below. When you get uh, the Canva, uh, Canva Pro account, you are actually able to use all the Canva Pro elements in your design and uh, all the uh, you will be able to use them uh, freely. For the trial period and uh, if you already have a canva pro account and you have been consistently using canva for all your design endeavors and so on there are certain things that you should be able they should that you should be aware of so that you don't get into any legal complications further down the road especially if you're using uh, your canva uh, designs for commercial purposes like rent up demand okay so let's get started what are the things that you should be aware of firstly you make sure that you when you're using photos or uh, pictures uh, that uh, have identifiable people uh, you you're not supposed to show them in any bad lights or you are not supposed to show them as endorsing anything you are not uh, allowed to show them in uh, any bad activity you are not uh, allowed to show them as uh, in any way offensive okay so basic respect uh, there so make sure that you follow these guidelines the other thing is that uh, you are not allowed to sell any unaltered images or photos that you're going to take from canva image library the thing is um, it's very basic and it's a common sense uh, thing that uh, you cannot take something uh, image from canva and upload it in in any other stock websites and sell it as your own that is uh, basically rude and uh, no it is not allowed so if you do that uh, then it is uh, legally not allowed so if anyone wants to take action against you they will these are the two things that you have to make sure that uh, you don't do basically okay and uh, the thing about altering uh, the images is that uh, there are many ways to do it suppose you have an image you can add a text to it suppose there are text and uh, you can add image to it suppose there are the photos you can change the color of it or you can add other elements to make it your own uh, I have discussed them in the video uh, in, a, in another video that I've uploaded recently uh, I'll leave a link in the description box below and you can check it up in the i button above so these are the these are basically two things uh, that you have to make sure that you don't do uh, so basically uh, all the media on canva is actually uh, free for you to use if you are a canva pro account member you can use it for commercial and non-commercial purposes and uh, there are no like the restrictions as mentioned as before so there's nothing much to it so you just uh, make sure that um, uh, that you follow these two guidelines and uh, another thing is that uh, attribution is uh, not required but if you actually provide the attribution that would be very much appreciated also okay and uh, you you just have to be creative and uh, uh, make sure that uh, you try and make the design your own even slight variations would do okay and uh, if uh, there are video elements also in canva and uh, how, how do you suppose what happens to them see video elements also uh, kind of like follows the same thing you have to alter them in some way so that you know you can make it your own suppose you are using uh, one video and another person is also using the same video then uh, whoever uploads first uh, then they, they get a copyright kind of, kind of thing so the thing is you have to make sure that you make it your own you have to alter it either it's the music or uh, the positioning or um, uh, what, what whatever changes you can make it uh, so that uh, you can make that content your own do that how about the fonts in canva can we use that for commercial purposes basically yes you can use uh, all the fonts that are available in canva for commercial use you can use them in your social ads you can use them in your marketing you can use in your pod you can do all of those basically when you actually subscribe to canva and you get your pro account what you what you're actually making a payment uh, on a monthly basis or a one-time payment uh, uh, however your membership is like uh, so when you're doing that uh, you actually basically cover all your royalty things so basically you can use uh, the fonts that are available 
available in Canva for uh, commercial purposes. No issues about that. However, if you're uploading fonts to Canva, you have to make sure that you have the license and you have the permission to use that uh, font for commercial purposes. You can upload any fonts into Canva if you have the file, but uh, if you don't have the license to commercially use it, then uh, you won't be able to. Uh, use it for your marketing or social media or whatever that you want to use it for so just make sure that you have it covered so basically whatever fonts that are available in canva it is actually uh, free for you to use for your commercial activities no issues with that uh, how about logos uh, logos that you use uh, canva to create uh, can you use them i would actually discourage you from creating logo with canva because basically what is a logo for that is the basic identity of your business or your um, basic uh, identity of your existence so you do not want to, to use canva to make that uh, however, you can uh, you can upload your logo to Canva and use it as you please. How, but uh, creating a logo using Canva, I would not recommend because basically you want a vector image uh, for your can uh, for your sorry. Basically, you want a vector image for your logo so that you can uh, scale it or you no know, uh, do whatever you want to do with that logo and uh, to make it your own. But uh, however, if you do it in Canva, there are limitations, so you do not want to do that. Okay, basically all these things I have covered and uh, these are the things that you just have to take note of. I will also leave you a link in the description box below regarding the free media license agreement that you can find in canva.com. They have actually simplified uh, this uh, commercial usage license. Uh, they have actually uh, made it very simple like uh, they have uh, put it into sections very neatly as in what is allowed and what is not allowed so if you follow them to the T you are actually safe so basically they say uh, all free photos music video files on Canva can be used for free for, uh, can be used for free for commercial and non-commercial use however they don't guarantee that any free images music and video files have the appropriate releases for commercial use okay and they also say that you have to modify the photos music and video files and uh, you can be as creative as you want all right and uh, what is not allowed they say simply identifiable identifiable people may not appear in bad light or in any way that is offensive you cannot sell unaltered uh, copies of a photo music or video file you cannot uh, make uh, any person endorse and you cannot redistribute or sell the photos so basically this is the two sections that they have uh, simplified it into but uh, this is a very long article if you would like to read i will leave the link in the description box below do take a look so basically to cut the long story short yes you can use canva images uh, for commercial purposes you can find the link for 30 day free trial of uh, canva pro account in the description box below if you like this video please like share and subscribe thank you so much for watching Bye bye